For more on coronavirus and how it's changing technology, I'm joined now by Rebecca Fannin. She's the author of Tech Giants of China. Um, Rebecca, who's actually doing okay right now with so many people staying at home? We know that online and e-commerce companies, streaming, delivery services, uh, not faring too badly. But what's the bright spot here? Well, I think anything to do with online learning, remote working at home, uh, video conferencing, these areas are uh, booming right now because people are trapped at home and have to have some way to communicate. So anything to do with online commerce, online education, online retailing, uh, shopping, um, messaging, uh, they, these companies are all doing well. So you're seeing many of the tech Titans uh, doing well, like Baidu, Alibaba, Tencent, JD. They're all developing new technologies to help fight this virus and uh, to help uh, people deal with it. We're really in unprecedented times right now. How are companies trying to reinvent themselves to accommodate for this coronavirus? What do you think has been the approach, the process, and, and the mood? Well, Tencent has this new uh, app that is designed uh, to take people's temperatures and uh, record that, and then you use a QR code before you check in uh, or go through a subway, check into anywhere. Uh, that uh, app uh, monitors your health, and uh, so that's been an interesting adaptation of a tech company doing something new that can really help uh, people deal with this crisis situation. Now, you're there in San Francisco. There's been a lot of news uh, from that region. Facebook, Amazon dropping out of tech conferences and trade right. shows. Uh, there are new reports that a Google employee in Europe was diagnosed with coronavirus. These companies are restricting employee travel to uh, right. various hotspots. What are some of the other considerations as they try to navigate the coming weeks and months here? Well, uh, you know, it's also interesting that Baidu has developed this mapping technology where you can see uh, where the, the biggest outbreaks are, where people have traveled. You can also uh, check uh, individuals where they've traveled. So th these kinds of new technologies, surveillance technologies, are coming in uh, very handy. Um, and Baidu also has some new facial recognition technology where you can tell who they are just by their forehead uh, because people are wearing masks, so you have to be able to d identify them somehow, so even by the forehead. Uh, so I think uh, the Chinese tech companies have been innovative in how they're dealing with this and uh, helping people to cope. Moving fast, working fast. Rebecca Fannin in San Francisco, thank you so much for joining us.